Hey, what's up guys? That's our last video in that training mini course and we will talk about overtraining. Does it exist or is it something lazy people just came out with? Is training for longer than an hour too much? Is it two hours the limit? What is the ideal length of a workout? It's a big subject that a lot of people ask about and the answer is yes, you can indeed overtrain. However, the resistance to overtraining will change accordingly to each person and their own experience. Basically overtraining is when your central nervous system is fatigued. You cause too much stress on your body and you started feeling burned out, emotionally and physically drained. Decreased motivation, you experience physical weaknesses and exhaustion. This is your body's way of protecting itself when it is not 100% ready to cope with anything too fatiguing. This kind of saying, let me relax, get ready and come back stronger. And everybody can handle a different level of stress depending on how much they have been experiencing with it in the past. You start building a resilience to it and your body becomes able to handle more of it slowly. I have been training for around 10 years so I can handle a longer workout than John who is just starting. My body won't get too stressed by some sets of squats as opposed to John who can do 4 sets and call it a day because his body isn't used to it. If I force John to do a 2-3 hours intense weight workout for a couple days in a row, his central nervous system will fatigue quickly. I am used to working in a kitchen as a line cook for 12 hours in a row. My body is used to handling that stress and it doesn't affect me anymore as it used to when I first started years ago. If John who works sitting in his office 8 hours a day tries my job for one day, he will get super exhausted very quickly, I guarantee that. He would call sick next day, that's for sure. Same with working out. All about building that resilience to that stress and handling it better and better and keep increasing the volume without causing any drawbacks. Studies shown that avoiding extra stress on the central nervous system in your workouts will deliver faster gains in strength and in size due to many factors. One of those factors is the increase of cortisol over time. Your cortisol will stay frequently elevated when your nervous system is drained until your body feels safe again. Cortisol is the main stress hormone as you might know and as you might know as well, it isn't our best friend when it comes to building muscles can slow it down and even lead to muscle loss. Another factor is the loss of strength because it will take more central nervous system stimulation than normal to produce a certain level of muscle contractions because your nerves stop firing as well. In other words, you have to work a lot harder for the same results. 50 pounds feels like 75. And then of course recovery that is impacted and it just gets in a vicious cycle. We need to train smart before training hard guys. Going to the gym and guessing and trying to do all exercises for 3 hours is not better than knowing exactly what must be done, hitting that nail at the right spot and leaving. 40 to 75 minutes of weight training is plenty for most people wanting to build muscles. If you're starting. Go for 40 minutes and it will be enough for you. Rest and come back tomorrow or the day after, instead of going at it for 2 hours today and putting yourself in bed for a week. Advanced and experienced people can push it to 75 minutes of weight per workout and some can even handle 90 minutes and more at a certain points after years and years of building that resilience. If you are in the gym for 2 hours doing weights, it is more likely that you're either overtraining or talking too much and either way you should leave. When we train, we create small micro traumas in our muscle fibers and then they will repair stronger and grow. It's like scratching your hand and creating a small wound. You have to let it alone and let it sit for a couple days and that skin will grow back and it will heal itself. You can scratch it again if you want after, but imagine keep scratching it before it heals and keep scratching it while the wound is still open and bleeding. It will just take longer to heal and slower that progress. That's why your program is tailored for you depending on how much you can handle. Even if sometimes you want to do more, keep that energy for your body to heal itself and come back tomorrow. 
It's what we do over and over and over again that will make a difference and not what we do once in a while. And under eating and under sleeping will affect how much training you can handle. So a lot of times people are under eating or under sleeping and they get burned out quickly in the gym. And it isn't because they train too hard or their workout was too hard or too long, but rather because they haven't slept or eaten well. Try not sleeping for a day and see how everything triggers you and stresses you out. You feel weaker in the gym. You will be overtraining quicker than usual. So guys, yes, overtraining exists. You can do too much, even if most people I see don't train hard enough. But I still have to say that doing too much is indeed possible. Eating well enough and sleeping well enough will dictate how much training you can handle. Eating and sleeping is the foundation that you will build training upon. So don't bother training if you haven't slept or eaten well because it will cause more drawbacks when done frequently one day can be fine but will hurt you on the long term some people will handle 45 minutes and slowly build that up to an hour and more i can personally handle one hour and 30 minutes of serious weight training max big max after that i start feeling anxious and i feel the stress getting to me i know it's time for me to leave and go rest i don't know many people that can do more than that Intense training, I'm talking, guys. Very intense. Now, power lifters are a different story. They need more rest in between sets, so their workouts will last longer. And even then, you need to build up that resilience. I mean, I want to say overtraining doesn't exist. I'm the person who loves training the most. But I did experience it many times. And I can tell you, having your central nervous system fatigued is not the best. So guys, many people will say overtraining doesn't exist. Be a man. Kill it every day. Push it to the limit. Take a pre-workout if you haven't slept and let's go. But watch what happens to those guys over time. Are they still in the gym? Are they still going at it? They either get injured and quit or they get too exhausted and give up. It's all about longevity in this sport and keeping shape over time. Funny thing is I have been one of those guys that was at that extreme and it did take me down. But thank God I have learned and came back from it stronger. Not every workout has to be a crazy intense session either. It's nothing, there's nothing wrong but having lighter workouts some days and not going as intense. Yes, sometimes less is more. Learn how to listen to your body. I'm not saying don't train hard guys. Don't get it twisted but listen to your body. Let it work with you instead of against you be aware of redlining every workout and maxing out every time as it is not ideal for building muscles getting stronger losing weight or having a healthy lifestyle nevertheless you still have to train hard and keep your intensity high when you slept well ate well and your body is well rested it doesn't mean you can just chill in the gym but train smart listen to your body so be aware of overtraining and don't spend more time that's needed in the gym make sure your diet and sleep are also on point for optimal results i hope you learn from it and you will apply those things in your workouts right away take care and see you soon ciao